Welcome to Susanna for Home Cooking. Today I will show you my crab cake recipe. This is a very popular appetizer in my restaurant and now I'm very excited to teach you how to make it at home. In this recipe, we will need half cup of heavy cream, two egg whites slightly beaten, one teaspoon of grated ginger, three scallions white parts only, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two tablespoons of vodka, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one pound of super lump crab meat, and two to three cups of bread crumbs, and one pound of medium shrimp, which I will peel and devein. Most of shrimp that you buy from the market is frozen and usually have an eye down taste. And it is important to wash your shrimp with salt and remove the taste. Then dry the shrimp with paper towel and cut into a small piece before finally chop into the food processor. Then I will chop the scallions and put them into the food processor. Then place in a small bowl on the side. Now I'm going to marinate the shrimp. First I would add the egg white, then I add vodka, the sesame oil, and mix very well. Then I will mix in the grated ginger and add the heavy cream. And I will mix and fold a couple of times until the shrimp is totally mixed together. Then I will add the chopped scallion. Lastly, I will very gently fold the super lump crab meat into the shrimp mousse until totally mixed together. Now I'm ready to make the crab cake. I will use a two and a half inch cookie mold. I will fill the crab cake mix into this cookie mold. Then I cover the crab cake with bread crumbs and shape into a bowl and place on a baking sheet. I will make about 8 to 9 crab cakes. Then heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil in a non-stick pot. Add half the crab cakes. Seal each side about 2 minutes until slightly golden brown. Then I would move those crab cakes into the cheat pan. Then I will bake the crab cake into the oven at 325 degrees for about 5 to 7 minutes. You can serve those crab cakes with the mango salsa which I will show you. To make the mango salsa, we will use one lime. First you zest the lime, then you juice the lime. One jalapeno pepper, very small dice. You should take the seeds out. One ripe the mango peeled and diced. And one shallot finely chopped. And mix them all together. And add one teaspoon of sugar and mix well. After you make the mango salsa, you probably have more than enough. You can keep all the mango salsa in a glass jar and keep it refrigerated for at least one to two weeks. And I put the mango salsa on top of the crab cake. I love to serve the crab cake, especially in the summer. You get the best crab meat. Also, the mango is very ripe and sweet. It's a nice, beautiful dish, especially in the summertime. I hope you enjoy this meal. You can always find the full recipe in the description below. Happy and healthy cooking. See you next time.